As the days get shorter and the temperature drops, and you are hunkering down at home with cosy blankets and central heating, spare a thought for the wildlife in the cold outside. For many animals, winter is a time of dormancy or hibernation. Of our mammal species in Britain, hedgehogs, bats and dormice hibernate. Mammals are warm-blooded or endothermic. This means they use their metabolism, the chemical reactions in the body, to maintain a body temperature usually higher than the environment around them. Hibernating mammals will allow their body temperature to drop and reduce their heart rate and how often they breathe. Staying inactive in this way, they save huge amounts of energy, so can survive the winter on the reserves of fat they built up in summer and autumn when food was plentiful. But what about cold-blooded or ectothermic animals? As the temperature drops, so will their activity levels, as they rely more on their environment for their body temperature. Our amphibians, frogs, toads and newts, and reptiles, lizards and snakes, hibernate over winter, finding places where they can shelter from the most severe cold and avoid predators. Some frogs will hibernate in the mud at the bottom of ponds, but this can be a dangerous strategy if the water begins to freeze. Burrows, log piles and compost heaps make good winter refuges for frogs and toads. Have you wondered what happens to all those insects that made our green spaces buzz with activity in summer over the winter? Many insects overwinter as larvae or pupae, waiting until the spring to emerge. Some insects overwinter as adults. You may spot ladybirds huddling together in nooks and crannies, or peacock or brimstone butterflies in sheltered spaces. You can help these butterflies by making sure you have some early flowers in your garden for them to feed from when they emerge in spring.